Today I'd like to show you how you can create a milk glass effect with JavaFX. And here you see uh, the demo application we are trying to build and um, it shows some circles that are moving around and they appear and disappear after some time. And in the middle of the window we have a so-called milk glass pane. And um, if you've worked with JavaFX, you probably know that it's very easy to um, create uh, blurring effects. So if you want to blur a node, um, then this is very easy to accomplish. But what's not so easy is uh, if you'd like to uh, blur um, what's behind the node and not only the node itself. Um, yeah, I can also move the glass pane around. You see that the milk glass effect works very nicely, so if a circle enters uh, the, the bounding box of the uh, milk glass pane, then it's blurred. Okay, so that's the demo. Now let's have a look uh, what the code... Uh, now let's see what the code looks like. Um, First of all, we have a very basic um, application uh, set up here. We just have one main class that extends application. So uh, it's nothing new if you already know how to uh, create JavaFX applications. Um, so in the start uh, method, we create a stack pane that we use as root pane. And then um, we create another pane uh, that works as a circle container where all the circles are in. And then we add that um, container to the root pane. Uh, yeah, the container gets some nice uh, background color, so rather dark one. And then we uh, create a scene. Um, and now we just create some circles, we define how many circles we would like to create and then we just have a for loop and uh, we wrote a method uh, for spawning nodes. Let's just have a brief uh, look at this spawn node uh, method. It takes two arguments, the scene and uh, the, the container. We first create a circle node. Um, we tell it to be not managed. Actually, we don't need that um, in our current setup because container doesn't have a layout. But if we'd like to change the, the pane to something different, then we still make sure that the circle nodes are ignored by layouts. Okay, then we randomly pick a color and uh, fill the circle with that color. Actually, the colors are defined at the beginning of the program. You can use any colors uh, you like. I just have uh, defined, defined a few. You can use more or less colors. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so back to the spawn uh, method. We choose a random initial position and then we add the node to the container. And uh, for animating the circle, we create a timeline object that animates uh, the radius, uh, the position and opacity of the circle. And after uh, the timeline finishes, we spawn another node. So we have um, uh, yeah, equal number of nodes uh, visible on the screen. Um, now comes the interesting part, which is the milk glass pane itself. Um, this is the second class in, in this project. Um, it takes the container as argument and yeah, we give it some maximum size and uh, we add it to the root pane, which is a stack pane. So it's uh, centered 
uh, in the middle of the window. Okay, so what we do finally here is to show the stage. Now let's enter the milk glass pane. Um, it just extends a regular pane and um, it has a reference to the uh, circle container and it has a box blur um, effect and we have some blur value. Okay, so um, we first uh, create a box blur effect with uh, the initial blurring value and with uh, three iterations and we set it as effect for uh, the milk glass pane. And um, after that we set um, a color adjust effect as input. Um, it makes uh, the, uh, the pane a bit brighter and we can change the color later on. So we come back to that. Um, and what we do now is we uh, create an animation timer that updates the background each time uh, it calls the handle method. And uh, the update background method is the method that does the magic behind. Um, when I try to create a milk glass effect, the only way that uh, I know how to accomplish that is to uh, take a snapshot of the background um, with uh, uh, the exact bounds of the milk glass pane and uh, then yeah, you have to apply the uh, blur effect and color adjust effect to make this milk glass effect uh, actually visible. Okay, so in this method, uh, we yeah we do nothing if if we are not visible, and um, we create a new writable image if uh, um, the image does not exist or if uh, the dimensions of the image do, do not match uh, our current um, dimensions, and then we also create in that case. Um, a background image and we set the background of the milk glass pane. Yeah, so for taking a snapshot we uh, just have to use the X and Y location of uh, uh, our pane and the width and the height and this is uh, our viewport and then we define these uh, snapshot parameters um, and they use uh, this viewport and everything we have to do now is to take a snapshot of the container um, and uh, yeah, pass in the uh, snapshot parameters and the image and uh, the result image will be written into this image object afterwards. Okay, now let's have a look again uh, at the application. Here we have the milk glass pane and our circles. If I move that milk glass around, you see it's updated very fast, so there's no lag. Okay, that's that's basically it. Um, what you can do here with the color adjust is, is probably interesting. So we could turn this uh, milk glass into a, a dark milk glass. Okay. We would just change the, the brightness. We darken it a bit. And here you see we have a dark glass and still we see the nice uh, blurring. We can make further uh, changes. So how about a green milk glass? All we have to do is to change the color adjust. Um, so we change the, the hue uh, here 
and yeah, we set the brightness to 0.3. And here we go. And uh, a lot more is possible if we change the um, contrast, for example, something like uh, point, uh, point 0.25 or something like that. You see, uh, it gets very bright, so, and as we expect, very high contrast. That's it. I hope you had fun. Um, see you next time. Bye.